A-C-K. Decoding is a word identification skill that allows readers to use the relationship between letters and sounds to recognize words in print. Readers use decoding skills to identify words when they read and to spell words when they write. Readers must be able to decode or identify words independently and rapidly in order to read fluently enough to understand what they read. Some words are best learned as whole units rather than by being sounded out letter by letter using phonics. They're called sight words because good readers recognize them automatically when they see them. Words that can't be sounded out phonetically and words that are used with high frequency can be memorized as a whole by sight. So I'm going to talk about sight words again here for a minute. Here's a list of the hundred most used um, sight words or um, words in the English language when you come across print. The first 12 right here, if you can master learning those and know them on site, you will actually be able to recognize in a flash 25% or one quarter of all of the words that you're going to come across when you're reading something. And if you learn 32 words total, you're actually going to know 33% of all of the words that you may come across in any kind of print, which is pretty exciting. Yeah. And it's only 32 words and it gives you 33% of everything you may read. So that's kind of exciting. So I have some of those sight words on these flashcards and I'm going to give them to you and I want to see how quickly you can go through and recognize and say them for me, okay? Okay. Good. The, of, said, a, of, one, the, his, a, said, his, one. That was very good. That was very, very good. Okay, so now we're going to play a little game, and it's called concentration. And what we do is we put them face down like this, make sure that I'm getting them the right side up. And what we want to do is find the two that match, okay? But you've got to remember where you saw them. So you're going to flip over two, and if they match, you get to keep them. If not, we put them back. Okay. And you need to say the words when we fold them up and we lift them up. Right. Go ahead. I'm going to let you go first. A. Okay. See if you find another one. A. Unbelievable. Take those two cards. They're yours. Okay. I'm going to do this word here. One. His. I have his and one. But they don't match. Okay. Your turn. One. They don't match. No, they don't. Okay, what's this word? Of. Said. Not a match. Your turn. One. And. His. Nope. Okay. His, his, all right, even Steven. Your turn. The. Did we see that one before? And the. Wow, you're good. Thanks. You're good. Okay, um, of, oh, I think we had that. Was it here? Said. Sid and Sid. I think you have x ray eyes. Okay. Of, of, phew. Sir? One. One. Perfect. So let me share with you why we played that game. It's okay. so that you see that word quickly and you say it and you recognize it. And every time we didn't make a match, we had to keep flipping them over and looking and saying it again and again. And it, it's a, just a fun way to practice seeing those sight words and learning them really quickly. And you did a great job because obviously you won too. So good job. You've just seen a learner and a tutor practicing phonics tasks that help learners identify words as they read, 
and spell words as they write. This type of focused practice should take up no more than 20 minutes of any given lesson. You can ask your local literacy program or an adult literacy listserv for advice on curriculum choices that provide structured, sequential phonics practice. You can help your learner decode unfamiliar words while reading independently by practicing the step-by-step -step decoding strategy you've just seen. Number one, try to say the word you don't recognize by sounding it out. Number two, ask yourself these questions. Does the word I said sound familiar? Do I know this word? Number three, read the word in the sentence and see if it makes sense. You've seen a tutor do quite a bit of talking when explaining a new strategy. During most lessons, you and your learner would be equally talkative. <music>